In this week's Asia Rising feature, we tell you about Vitasoy, the Hong Kong maker of one of Asia's best-known drinks, soy milk. Vitasoy has weathered the Asian economic crisis thanks to soy milk catching on in America. As Farlan Chang learned during his recent visit to the US, the soy milk market there is still in its infancy, but that hasn't stopped Vitasoy. Winston Lo is extending his father's vision of the soybean as the cow of China. Now he's turning one of Asia's oldest foods into one of North America's newest tastes. We are in the process of uh, uh, delivering, uh, completing the mission of the founder to uh, provide nutrition for the uh, mess masses. This is a bad bad TI. Why do soy's TV ads appeal to the Chinese who have enjoyed soy milk for centuries, but North Americans have long said no thanks. In the 1980s, one survey found Americans ranking soy products as one of their least liked foods, second only to liver. In recent years, the soy industry has come a long way towards winning the hearts, minds, and stomachs of Western consumers. I put it on everything. I put it on uh, granola. You know, I put it in drinks I make. Here in Santa Monica, California, many customers pay 50 cents extra for Vita Soy milk in their coffee drinks. Two soy chives. Pete's Coffee Shop says it has increased its supply of Vita Soy seven times over the past seven months. Every single coffee shop in Los Angeles pretty much has soy milk, and even grocery stores are starting to, to carry it. In flavors that appeal to Americans, such as chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla, Besides the new flavors, soy milk also offers health benefits. Medical studies show that soy foods cut the risk of heart disease by reducing harmful cholesterol. It's also claimed to help prevent certain cancers and menopausal symptoms. That would keep me drinking soy milk, yeah. And it goes down well for people who cannot digest milk from cows. All this adds up to higher sales. In the U.S. alone, Vitasoy's sales jumped more than 40% from last year. I think there's a window for growth. I think they can capture it. But to go beyond the next stage might require very different skills and might require very different approach. Analysts say Vitasoy could soon face much tougher competition from bigger American players who have stronger marketing and distribution machines. But Winston Lowe is not worried because there's so much room for the market to expand. We do need more participants to bring up the awareness of the uh, soy, and uh, I think that, that will be good news. North American sales are expected to get a big boost in November if the U.S. Food and Drug Administration allows the soy industry to advertise the health benefits. Farlan Chang, CNN Financial News, Hong Kong. After the break, a look ahead at the trading day in Taiwan. We'll talk to the head of international research at National Securities Corp for the latest developments in Taipei.